Welcome to Space Rific Reviews. I'm Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of TheMovieWizard.com. I'm Marco. He's Marco. Today we are reviewing Nine. Our protagonist is Nine, who, as far as I can tell, wasn't anyone really important. In fact, I'm going to be honest, this movie isn't about much of anything. Essentially, they're trying to kill the bad guys. The bad guys are trying to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, character development is rather thin. Story isn't very heavy. However, it is beautiful. <laughs> and the action sequences are pretty spectacular. In fact, I would argue the action in the animation probably saves this movie. I'm not completely sure if it saves it enough, though. I've kind of been debating about it since I finished seeing it, because it's kind of a confused thing. No, pretty much no story, no real character development, a couple of the characters you'll like because they're quirky. A lot of good action. I can't say I was bored, though. It's tough, but... You know, I'm just going to hold my rating till the end. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, just because uh, yeah. it might be suspenseful. What um, do you think? Yeah, nine. Saw it a day. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It was very, um, it was very movie-like. There was certainly action stuff in it, and there were certainly people that talked a lot. Uh, there was not a single character in this film. There were only really vague, cliched characters. Right. that are exactly what you'd expect in any other film. It's like someone watched The Terminator and made dolls with it. I mean, there there are... I wouldn't even say the action was good. I can't remember any of it. It's it's a computer-generated movie. Yes, it looks good. They all do now. It's not impressive on its own. Was it neat? Yes, the sets were pretty well, decent. Well, well, the little guys, were they cool? No, not really. They were completely vague. They didn't make any sense. They never explained them well enough. The plot centered on a goofy, green, glowing MacGuffin that doesn't make any sense, really. There's a big epic ending with shit that happens at... No, it was stupid. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the ending. I didn't like any moment of this movie, really. There was some nice moments with the animation, and some of the guys, are they, they have entertaining bits to them, but really, the Warrior Woman one was a like straight out of something else. The main character it, is nobody. Has no purpose. No, he, he is a nobody, except he figures out that thing that stops the guy. Yeah, it's his I, fault. I, yeah, and I'm going to assume he knows... I'm going to have to trust that he knows what he's doing because I wasn't completely well, sure. They, they, they didn't, there was no reason to. He just said it a lot and seemed to have a good heart to him, which was not good enough. He was not a jerk. Well, he wasn't a jerk. He was a very nice guy. He, he, was, was, a, he was the cause of all their problems, though. So it was like, why? Why try? And then they have what, Christopher Plummer. Was he the guy that was voicing the, yes, the old Plummer. guy? Christopher Plummer does a great job with the voice in saying all the most bland, regular type of stuff the naysayer character needs to say. I mean, everybody really fit into, like, some pre-categoried character that they had to play. Oh, these are the quirky guys that, you know, take up all the information and remember everything. Oh, this is our big guard. This is our warrior woman lady. This look, is our hero. Look, and this is the naysayer old man who says, look, Oh, we must stay and be shaved. Looking more fondly at Coraline? In yes! <laughs> This was a raging disappointment as far as I was concerned. It was visually nice. As all computer animated well, movies really not, theater well, not only is it computer animated nice, but it is also really dark. And, I mean, it it took them a lot of guts to make a movie this violent and dark with the PG-13. It was barely worth the PG-13. It was PG-13 because there were scary things in it. There were brief moments where things would jump out at you. Well, and they weren't even good brilliant. moments. They were yeah, things well, from horror I'm, movies. Well, I'm giving them credit for trying to make a film for adults. Um, but I am kind of in agreement with you. It didn't really completely succeed. I was not bored. But at the same time, yeah, you're right. I don't even know why we had celebrity voices in this movie no, most of the time. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'll give you Christopher Plummer did a good job, and uh, the other old dude in it, I think Martin Landau. Martin wasn't Landau, it? his five and lines. He was he was fine in his five lines. Yeah. Like he was actually a character. You were like, oh, I like this guy. Yeah, and Elijah Wood was in it. Dies, he, like, I figured right out right. it was Elijah Wood, but there was no reason for him to really be doing it. He didn't do a he, bad. He's job. getting really into the voice animation. Well, a couple of people. Like, what was it? John C. Riley was in there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even every, even the things that they, like the one character, John C. Riley, he was blind in one eye. It was yeah. like that was the exact thing that character needed to fit that role. It was like characters, like somebody just watched other movies and went, you know what, that little side character from the Road Warrior would work in my movie. That this thing from the Terminator would work in my movie, right. and it never really makes any sense yeah. in the end. Well, I am gonna hold a little bit of defense. I have a soft spot in my heart for the twins, who, despite saying nothing, for some reason are. <laughs> 
kind no, of cute and okay they, with the, the twins and, were okay. And they're actually but, fairly memorable yeah, because yeah. of the way that they just blink a lot. No, and, and like I said, there were, certain, about that. there were certain moments where they used the desolate backgrounds and the rooms that they were in to work. But this is, I mean, did you, you remember the trailer? Where it was like, oh, you must follow your destiny, for mankind has fallen. Definitely. And only nine can sit. There was nothing in this movie like that. The trailer definitely had a better sales pitch yeah, than the Yeah, the movie. movie was like, oh, dude, we need to go over there, because they totally took our friend. Oh, right. we set off the apocalyptic robot. Well, we need to stop the apocalyptic robot. Yeah. We did. The end. Did you just give away the end? Well, like you didn't figure it out. I mean, no, I knew everything right. that was going to happen in this movie before this. And then there was that annoying ass scene where the guy actually talked, like found the box for him and was like, well, see, the humans and the robots. It's like, I know this. We're in the post-apocalyptic after the robot future. Like, we already could figure that out. Oh, uh, the robots you, killed everybody. You gotta love. You gotta love that scene where every single time they mention the robots, this was originally made to do good. It's like, what exactly good were yeah, well, they yeah. supposed they to do? They show the video and they're like, oh, well, they were made for the good of mankind, and they're making like giant armored robots with machine guns. Yeah, it's so, like, oh, it, it's like so for the good of mankind, we're gonna completely waste valuable resources. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Yeah, and like I said, that was something where it was like you could just see somebody's like, you know what, this just isn't clear enough. And I mean, I swear, I, I really did think, okay, this is what's going on. Oh, they're going to go over there. Oh, and they did. Mm. And I mean, even action-wise, it was like, it's okay. Yeah, it's I like it's peril that, that I've seen before yeah, in many well, other ways. Well, since you're so passionate about this, your grade. My grade's going to end up being two stars. It was not a horrible experience to sit through. I was not bored overall, and it was visually interesting at times, but it wasn't enough to hold the film over. Mm. It was just a disappointment to me. I'm going to give it two and a half, so I'm not really going to recommend it. I think I might be liked it a little bit more than you, but it's still not quite enough to recommend.